well, I can't really use school as an excuse for not making videos anymore because it shut down. <sighs> shut, shut down. So before we start this video, guys, I just want to say I hope you all are safe. I want to hear from you in the comments. Tell me you're doing okay. Tell me what you're doing to stay busy. Don't let your mind wander to places uh, now that we're being stuck at home. Keep yourself occupied. Keep yourself hydrated. Um, try to stay healthy. Try to maintain a positive outlook, even though it could be quite difficult nowadays. And keep busy, you know. Try new things. Try and learn new things. I know a lot of us might be feeling lazy, especially this guy. But uh, try new things and keep yourself busy. And um, I'll see what I can do to help you on that last one. Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Red's Effects. So, I've done quite a few episodes of this show. I've made things all the way from flash effects all the way to explosions and uh, security camera effects, stuff all over the place. But what I've never, ever done is make a tutorial for people who don't even know this program from the start. I get so many comments, people asking, what program is it? Even though in the title it kind of says hit from exposed. Anyway, besides the point, the point is that I've never ever made a tutorial uh, geared towards beginners. I'm working it like this. I'm gonna split this video into two parts. This being part one is gonna be going over the general uh, sort of layout of HitFilm Express, explaining what the buttons do, which ones are more important for you as a beginner, um, how to change the layout of the panels, what everything means, and then in part two, which is coming soon, is going to be all about how to actually edit together a short sequence using what we learned in this part. So before we jump into it, if you've been living under a rock for the past, I don't know, five years or so, uh, you don't know that HitFilm Express is a completely free editing and compositing software. No, I'm not sponsored, but it's 100% free. So if you don't have it right now, download it in the description below it runs on most decent pcs and laptops and uh, yeah let's hop in a hit from express and teach you guys some beginner tips so for the first time ever in red effects history here we are in hit from express on the actual startup menu what this basically entails is you have a few things over here from the FX Home people, you know, from their Twitter, from their website, a couple of bargains and bundles and some of the latest tutorials that it can help you out. On the side over here, you'll have your recent projects. You will also have a option to purchase add-on packs which can extend HitFilm Express further than the basic, um, you know, download that you get at the start. But what we want to look at over here is the new button. When we click the new button, we're essentially creating a new project. A new project will basically be giving you a timeline and access to all of the effects as well as all of the panels in order to create your first HitFilm Express project, if this is your first time, of course. What you want to look at here, essentially, is this is the settings that will be present in the editor. So you want to match this to the clips you're using. So if you're recording in 1080p, then it'll be obviously useful to select 1080p, Full HD. And for my clips that I normally shoot, is it's in 25 frames per second. So you want to find out what your camera actually puts out, what your phone puts out, whatever you're using, and then match this over here from a bunch of the presets that they have to actually match your footage. This just makes it easier later on. The duration of the timeline also depends on what you're doing. If you're making a really short project, set it to something short. I usually set it to the standard amount and as you add clips, it automatically increases. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, the width, the height, the frame rate, all of this you leave the same because it's matching to the template that you're choosing. Don't worry about the rendering for now. That's a totally different subject we can worry about. For now, let's just click OK and head into our very first project. All right, so what we have here is basically what HitFilm will show you when you create a new project and you open it. So if you're wondering what all these different panels do, don't worry, that's what we're going to be covering now. But first, what I want to tell you is if it looks a bit different on your screen, know that there's nothing wrong with your software. Essentially, what happens is that you are allowed to drag these panels around and change them and orientate them in whichever way you want. If you have multiple monitors, you can drag them off screen onto another monitor and have maybe your viewer on one screen, your trimmer on another, and your timeline on another if you're, you know, if you have the bat cave and you have 16,000 computers, that's what you can do. But essentially what you can do to uh, shuffle through different presets of layouts is you can go head over here to the view tab and you go into workspaces. Here we have different um, presets for the orientation of these panels. So for example, if you're doing audio editing, primarily for your project, you might wanna click the audio setup and this will basically change the setup of all of the different panels to make it easier for audio editing. So the audio bars are nice and big on this side instead of really tiny, the meters are enlarged and everything else is pushed off to the side so that you can focus on, for example, audio. As you can see, I've created my own custom workspace. 
which I like to use, so I'm gonna set it to that one. But in order to make a custom one, just drag and rearrange the panels wherever you want them to. Head over to view, head over to save workspace, and then save it under title and hit OK. You'll then be able to find it in the workspaces tab so that you can always have your specific and personal layout. Now that that's out of the way and you have all of your panels open, we can now switch back to the original all panels workspace so that I can describe to you and explain what exactly each panel does. So for right now, what you want you to do is to close the lifetime panel, since we don't need to be worrying about that at the current moment, um, since that has to do with particle effects, and we can actually make another video on that. If you guys are interested in it, just leave a comment down below. Your two main panels, in my opinion, at the start would be your viewer, as well as your media panel. So let me explain what these do. The media panel essentially houses all of your footage, your assets, and any clips, pictures, sounds, music tracks, anything that you bring in will appear here. We'll discuss how to import and how to edit all of these in the next episode. Next up, what we have is the viewer panel. This basically shows you whatever's on your timeline. So as you play through, you'll see whatever the timeline is displaying. So if this player head is over a certain clip, that's what it'll display over here. I'm being really, really simple here, guys, and I'm breaking it down to the extreme core. So even if you are a complete beginner, chances are most of you are not complete beginners from this specific channel. But um, if you are a complete beginner or if you know someone who doesn't know anything, um, I would suggest maybe relaying into this video if you think it's a, a, you know, a good resource because I'm being really specific as to everything as if someone hasn't ever edited before. So essentially, if you're moving this little white line over here, which is the playhead, over a specific portion and say a clip of a dog is here that's what you will see here essentially this represents what your final movie your final short film your final video will be once you render it and again rendering will be discussed in the next part when we actually create something so that's what the viewer is the layer will basically the layer panel will basically view a specific layer a lot of times people are into a problem where the screen goes black or something and they think they're stuck but all they need to do is just switch from the layer into the viewer because the viewer shows all of this Next up, we can talk about this specific panel over here called the editor panel. This is obviously the most important one, duh, regardless of these two or anything else, because this is where you do all of your editing. This is where you drag in different clips from here to here. You edit them, you cut them around, you replace them, you add different multiple audio and video tracks. As you can see, HitFilm is um, extremely versatile because what it does is allows you to do composite editing and allows you to have multiple stacks and layers of video and audio. A lot of free programs out there allow you to have one video and one audio clip playing at a time. Here you can have multiple video tracks and multiple audio tracks all at once. All you can do is just insert multiple tracks of video, insert multiple tracks of audio and have a multi-layered timeline present whenever you want. So let's move over here to the effects panel. The effects panel houses, uh, as you can guess, all of the effects. So you'll find all of your color correction effects, all of your distort effects, 3D things, basically everything you can use in the editor as well as the compositor. The history basically tells you your history of doing things. If you cut something using the snipper tool, if you rearrange something, it's gonna appear here. I find myself personally not using the history panel as much because I am at the point where I can keep track of what I'm doing, but if you are, um, completely new to it and you want to be keeping track you can basically have a history of everything that you've done so far in the software and that basically um, I wouldn't really worry about the processor for right now so let's move on to over here here we have the controls the controls will basically show you all of the specific controls for your video this will include things such as the scalar scalar property the position the rotation of a clip etc etc as well as all of the controls for an effect so how much it is how less how uh, you know if you have for example the brightness and contrast in the controls panel you will see how to increase the contrast decrease the contrast and basically tune in your specific look or whatever it is in the controls panel text standard how to create text you will use obviously the text tool we'll go over that in the next episode or maybe a specific episode you create text you highlight the text and then this controls everything you know with the text the tracking the color of the text the spacing this is kind of similar to something like microsoft word so if you know that you'll be able to be you know okay here the font all of that and hitfilm obviously recognizes all fonts that you install on your computer the tracking tab 
the tracking tab if you want to track something and you want to insert a track um, essentially that is something obviously that you'll be controlling over here the points the positions and all of that the information is located in this tab um, don't worry too much about that right now because I think if you're doing, making your first ever little sequence you're not going to be tracking much at the start at least Let's move on to this little panel over here. So the trimmer time, the trimmer panel, not timeline, although it does give you a mini timeline. Essentially what the trimmer panel does is if you have a file, so you have a video over here and it's too long and you want only to select a certain section of it, but you don't want to drag the whole video into your timeline and then cut it, you can essentially double click it, it'll appear into the trimmer panel and you can select a small portion of that video and then insert that into your main timeline. Because remember, this is the timeline that you're going to render out at the end. This is your final film in timeline form. This over here is your clip specific to a specific clip. So you open one clip here at a time, one audio piece at a time or audio file at a time. You select a small portion of it and put it over here. Just try and gauge where you are in the software right now and try and, you know, orientate yourself, get used to the different words, text, track controls, audio mixer, etc. And in the next episode, when we actually start to use all of these, it'll become much more clearer or clearer. Bad English. So uh, moving on to our last two panels, what I think, uh, or last three panels, the audio mixer essentially shows you all of the audio tracks. So this would be audio track one, and this would be the master audio for all of the audio tracks combined. Over here, you can change the um, volume of the audio. So this is audio one, and here's audio one over here. If I were to add another track, audio two then appears. And essentially, this is the volume for audio two. So if you have your music on audio one, and you want to lower that because you want to have your sound effects, which you've placed on audio two louder, you would do that here. And obviously the master controls the audio for everything in the timeline. Layout, once again here, don't really worry too much about this right now because you are a beginner and that can be covered in another episode. And finally, we have the meters. This basically describes if you're peaking and how loud your video files are. If you're playing along, this will be constantly changing and updating. It works simply as any other audio meter does in any other software. Uh, a couple of other things I want to go over guys right now is some of the main tools that you want to use. This is obviously the selector tool, the main one you'll be using to navigate your way around the software. This tool over here, the hand, would be to um, move around a specific thing within the viewer panel. The snipper tool would be used to actually cut a file, it looks like a little laser blade. And those are the main ones you want to use over there. Um, once again, the same thing with the hand here and the selector tool. The A, which is the text, you can drag a and create a text box for example um, this one be a mask a square rectangle mask I'm not get into the shape um, this would be an oval mask and this would be the pen mask so you can like you know freehand draw a mask but again we will cover that in the next one I'm sounding like a stuck record but trust me guys this will all be covered later on and that is essentially a rough overview of HitFilm Express something else I can mention guys is if you want to obviously click on file this is self-explanatory this is how you save a file this is how you open a, re a recent file open a new file create a new file or a new project edit all of these things are standard these basically include some of the basic edit properties cut paste all of those things very similar to Microsoft Word and stuff like that your knowledge of there can transfer over here over here in the view we've covered most of the stuff here and the help obviously is a help button as present in most software in the next episode we're going to be actually using these panels and these tools to import something trim it in the trimmer panel add some effects to it control those effects add some text control the text check out check out the layer window um, uh, uh, basically see what the meters are doing the different audio tracks the different tools and create a mini sequence so that you guys better understand what I've actually explained here and that becomes more cemented and that's the basic rundown or gist of what Hitfilm Express is as I said it works very similar to something like Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, all of those top tier programs um, but now that I've explained all of the buttons and the layout and how to navigate your way around the software hopefully when part two comes out and we show you how to edit together a small sequence using what we learned here it'll be a bit easier but until then I hope you guys have enjoyed it please leave a like down below shoot me a comment to let me know that you guys are doing okay give us some suggestions down below of things we can do and learn while we are stuck in our little caves um, <laughs> for the next, uh, however long it is, few weeks maybe, cross fingers. Um, yeah, share this video with your friends. Maybe people want to get into Hitfilm Express, stuff like that. It is free after all. Follow me on Twitter down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.